you were exploring a mysterious island when it suddenly started to sink into the sea. Ancient creatures woke up and are now chasing you. On this island, danger is everywhere. Will you make it back? Lead as many adventurers from your crew as you can on the rescue islands before three volcanoes erupt. On the board, place all the island tiles at random. Put the sea serpents on the spaces containing the corresponding icon. Then, take turns placing each of your 10 adventurers on tiles. Underneath the meeples, you can check their treasure value. That's the number of points they'll score if rescued by the end of the game. But remember, you will not be allowed to check the treasure value once the game is started. Finally, take turns placing rafts on empty water spaces adjacent to the island. During your turn, play all three of these phases in order. Action, rising waters, creature die. One, action. You have three moves to split between your adventurers and rafts. Choose wisely. You can move an adventurer across tiles, into the water, or onto a raft. And you can move a raft across water spaces. However, you must respect these limitations. Each adventurer cannot swim more than once each turn. You can only move empty rafts or rafts you control. You control a raft when you have at least as many meeples on board as your opponents. During the action phase, you may also use powers. You can get them during the next phase, Rising Waters. Two, Rising Waters. Oh no, waters are rising. Remove a tile from the board. Beach tiles must be removed first, then forest tiles, then mountain tiles. Place all meeples that were on the tile you removed onto the corresponding water space. Then look at the tile you picked. If it's red, apply its effect immediately. It could be a new creature appearing on this space, or maybe you've discovered an unused raft. It could also be a whirlpool destroying everything in its trail, or a volcano announcing the end of the game. If it's green, store it to use its power later. Maybe you've befriended a dolphin who will help you get to shore later, or maybe you've found a repellent to ward off a creature and spare your adventurers. Three, creature die. When you've resolved the rising waters phase, it's time for the creatures to act. Roll the creature die and move one of the corresponding creatures from the board. If you roll a sea serpent, move it one space and eliminate any raft or adventurer that crosses its path. If you roll a shark, move it up to two spaces and eliminate any swimmer it comes across. This ends the shark's movement. If you roll a kaiju, move it up to two spaces and eliminate any boat on its space. All adventurers and other creatures are afraid of the kaiju, thus they flee. Move creatures towards your opponents or away from you. When a third volcano is revealed, the game immediately ends. You should have rescued some of your adventurers by now. Sum up the treasure values underneath all of the adventurers you successfully brought to one of the rescue islands. The player with the highest sum of treasures wins the game.